Hey, it's your man, Style Con, coming at you today with another video from the Cigar Shed. Got my little Esteli going on today. Got the uh, Swatch Big Bold Jelly on. Uh, it's definitely a fun little watch to have in the collection. And let's get into today's topic of discussion. And that will be low-tier luxury watches will not be hit. By this downturn in the in luxury watch market. Say, Style con. Why not? Well, because they're affordable. That's it. Like I talked in a previous video. Uh, these high-end watches, the Pateks and Rolex that were going for outrageous prices. is because people had free money. The interest rates were low. You can go ahead and get something that was probably out of your price range at a reasonable interest rate. Not a price, but a reasonable interest rate. Like with houses. The housing market's prices have been coming down a little bit because the interest rate is higher. So people aren't buying as many houses like they were when the interest rate was 3 4%. The housing market was a booming. Now that it's not, it's coming down. And like with the car market, some of these like Teslas, they've been lowering their prices. Uh, uh, Ford, Chevy, they can't move these high-end cars. But guess what cars are selling? You know, $30,000 cars, $35,000 cars. People are still buying those because the average person can afford that. And with the interest rates being a little higher, it's more accessible. So the brands like uh, Tudor, uh, Cartier, or Cartier, however you want to pronounce it. Brands like that, IWC, you know, on the pre-owned market, they're not going to get hit as hard. Because people still want these watches. They're accessible. Say, you know, you get a, a, a two-door Black Bay, maybe $2,500, $3,000. Even if you had to put it on a credit card at 12% interest, that's not too bad. But now when you want a, a $50,000 watch and you want to put it on the credit card and that credit card is 13%, something like that, that's pretty bad. You know, you don't really want to do that. So, you know, in that previous video, I was talking about like the higher end watches getting hit. The lower end, probably not so bad. So if you're thinking these watch prices on a two door, for, you know, for so twenty five hundred might drop down to two. I don't really see that happening because it's more accessible. Anything that's more accessible during this horrible time with the economy, people will still buy. It's just these things that are getting outrageous in price. You know, with the cars, like, like uh, if you watch my channel, I, I'm a big fan of sneakers. There's this pair of sneakers I wanted to get. Uh, it was a SB Dunk Sandy Bowdecker. I went to get a pair. They were like $200. Like, come on, man. This is a $105 pair of sneakers. But right now, you can get them for about $100. You know, it dropped in value $100. And that's the good thing. The, the lower end market for watches will not be affected as much. You might be able to find some bargains out there. But if you're waiting for that huge bargain you're probably not going to get it because they are more accessible. The average person can get to them. They don't need a PPP loan. At times, you don't even need to put it on your credit card. I got $2,500. I got $3,000 saved. I saved it to get this watch. This is what I did want. So a little more accessible. They're not going to get hit as much, in my humble opinion. Right now, I've watched a couple of, what's that, John P., and he was talking about how he can't move some of these watches that are higher end. But people have been calling for Tudors and, and, and Cartiers. And it's like, okay, those watches are still good because they're accessible. Now, once they hit that, you know, fifteen, twenty, forty thousand, fifty thousand dollars range, hundred thousand range, they they'd be sitting on the shelf just like anything else. So, on that note, if you guys are looking for bargains on the lower end, don't expect them because they are more accessible. But if you want to get one, go ahead. Take the time out of your day. Go buy one because that's something worth servicing over a $500 or a $1,000 watch. And on that note, it's your man, StyleCon. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. If you have any questions or comments, as usual, leave them down below. And I will check you out in the next video.